Philippians 4, verse 8. It's all about changing your outward circumstances. You can do that. I'm not talking about rearranging furniture. I'm talking about changing lifestyle. How? By rearranging your thinking. Changing wrong beliefs to right beliefs. Change the way you think and your circumstances will change. That's true. Henry Ford said, Think you're right, think you're wrong. Both ways you're correct. The word of the Lord says, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Rise up. Rearrange your thinking. And change your circumstances around you. Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brothers, Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. If you don't like your vision, if you don't like what you see, if you don't like the circumstances around you, my friends, it's simple. Change your position. I'm not talking about removing furniture. I'm talking about changing the position here. Rearrange your thinking, not just rearrange it. Eliminate the negative thought. Get rid of it. Get the mind of Christ. Get the word of the Lord into you. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19. It says, To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think. Let me say, how will the Lord do this for you? The Lord's going to come and rearrange your thinking. The Lord's going to come and rearrange your pre prejudices, your thought processes, and put your mind stayed on Christ. When we have our mind stayed on Christ and we seek Him first, all these things will be added unto us. I believe victory is your portion. And if you are continually meditating on the negative, if you are continually focusing on the adversary, on the opposition, on the path of challenge that you're in, my friend, you'll get stuck in a rut. Let me pray with you today. Let's, let's lift up our eyes, Psalm 121, to the mountains, to the hills from where our help comes from. Our help comes from the Lord. He is the one who will give you that mind of Christ. And that mind of Christ is what Paul is speaking about. I want to speak a word of life to you right now and pray with you that your negative thinking will become positive thinking. And through the positive thinking, you will see that your circumstances around you will be changed. And I believe that God will use you as you speak life into the situation. The word of the Lord says, the power of life and death are on the tongue, and those who love it eat its fruit. Let's rearrange our thinking. Let's get the mind of Christ. Let's speak a positive word and see the circumstances change. So, Father God, we call on you today in Jesus' name. Come, Lord God, and touch the person listening to this YouTube clip. Touch their thinking. Father, give them your thought. When they go to sleep at night, when they wake up in the morning, may they have your thought in their head, Lord God. Father, when they speak during the day, may your word come out their mouth. And Lord God, I thank you that they will see change in their daily life. And their history, Lord God, will be one where their hands are truly blessed of you. Because your word says you bless the works of our hands. If you need me to pray with you personally, drop me an email. Bless you.